We've made it. <laughs> We're here. Yom Kippur has finally arrived. We've gone through all of El practicing showing up. We've gone through Rosh Hashanah going from potential to manifestation to creation. We've gone through a certain mitzvah of doing deep inner work, and we're finally at Yom Kippur. So, what's the deal? What's Yom Kippur all about? What could possibly be left to do? We've we've been spending a month on this work already. What is going on? So Yom Kippur is actually not really about forgiveness. Yom Kippur is about purity. Lifnei Hashem titeru before Hashem you'll be you'll be purified. Purity means being aligned with reality in such a way that you allow life, you allow reality to flow through you. You become a conduit of reality. That's what purity means. So check this out. There are two types of relationships that correspond to two levels or two types of Torah that correspond to two types or levels of tshuva. Two relationships in the two types of Torah are covenantal, a covenantal re- relationship, and an extra-covenantal relationship. And so in this, in this week's, past week's Parsha, uh, we're, we're shown this through uh, last week's Parsha, Moshe, Moshe is about to die. And so Moshe is explaining to Yeshua what's going to happen. And he says, Hashem t- tells Moshe, tell Yeshua, you need to write this book so that uh, everyone will know what to do. Write this Brit, write this covenant so that everyone will know what to do. So Moshe says that, and Moshe, Moshe gives that over to Yeshua, and then Hashem says an interesting thing. He says, actually, you know what, like, this might not be enough, because they're going to do X, Y, and Z within this covenant, and I'm going to hostage upon him, I'm going I'm to have to sh- hide my face. So what does Hashem say? Hashem says, listen, I need to show you something else. Come with me, bring Yeshua into the, into the Mishkan, into the tabernacle. And they go in, I need to tell you a secret. And he says... Write a poem. Now you need to write a poem, and you need to have Yeshua teach this poem to the people. And this poem is going to stand as a dut. It's going to stand as testimony, and it's going to get the Jewish people through the rest of the time, even even when I have Hester Penny, even when I hide my face. Now what's a poem versus a brit? A poem is dynamic. A poem is alive. A poem, you need to have... You need to, to be fully engaged with reality in a way of experience, in a way of dy- dynamicy, to be able to write a poem. And so, on these two levels, a Torah is first a Brit, a covenant. But then there's, a, there's, there's a, a place where the Torah and the relationship of God and the relationship of the Jewish people is extra-covenantal. And that is the place where we're trying to get to on Yom Kippur. And so, how, how, where, are we, where are we so far? And this connects to this connects to um, the two levels of tshuva, right? So the first level of tshuva is I made a mistake, and uh, I need to do something to correct. It. I need to do something to fix it. I need to do something to, to do a tikkun. But the problem is, and we're taught this lesson right at the beginning, the first day of therapy made tshuva with some gedalia. The problem is that often the correction or the overcorrection may cause more damage than, than a thing in the first place. So how do we learn this? So some Gedalia, the base of English was destroyed, but we still had somewhat of an autonomy in the land. And uh, everyone was looking around and realizing, why was the base of English destroyed? Oh, because of Sina, Sina Chinam, because of Lashon Hara. And so because of Lashon Hara, we're going to go in the extra step. We're not, we're not only not going to speak Lashon Hara, we're not going to accept Lashon Hara, we're not going to listen to Lashon Hara. And because they decided to do that, they didn't listen to the Lashon Hara that was, that was being spoken, and Gedalia was killed, and autonomy in the land of Israel was, was, was gone, and everything, everything was destroyed. So the first level of tshuva, of just trying to fix what we've done wrong, uh, is not enough. As the Rambam says, right, that, that uh, what happens when someone needs to fix an inappropriate or an extreme need, that you have to overcorrect and go to the other extreme. Neither extreme is, uh, is right. So we need the second level of tshuva. The second level of tshuva, I'm just going to look at my notes. The second level of tshuva